Hey ladies, so I'm back at it again. This is the month of month of July and we're on the 24th day of this month. Um, I have been doing a lot of reshaping, revision, revamping myself. So I've definitely been quiet in this season pertaining to a lot of things that the Lord has been definitely dealing with me so for a little while I wasn't able to get back on to actually vlog the Lord definitely has been like tremendously dealing with my spirit um The Lord has definitely been dealing with my spirit pertaining to a lot of things in my downtime. Um, and so I've been a little for a little while as well. But I just blessed God this morning, just reminding me, oh my God, about just his grace, his promises. And like yesterday, the Lord just reminded me in a week I was in the morning that he is he's never slow to his promises. So he was still letting me know, Lord, I'm still working, working things out concerning you. I wanted to come on here just briefly just to talk to you all about just the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done like literally in the last 30 days just how God just kept me and I was as I'm always telling you I'm always driving I was going somewhere the other day and I remember I wanted to talk about I want to talk about this morning about Psalms 38 Psalms 30 32 and 8 and it just simply talks about the way that God's the way that the Lord will instruct you lead and guide your every step like every place that you will go there will always be provision made like God is going to give you the tools necessary to allow you to get to that place and I wanted to talk about the topic that God had given me was you know no matter how you get off the route that God said that this is a season where he will continue to reroute you, meaning that you will still arrive to that designated place that God has so purposely designed for you. I wanted to get off the pursuit to purpose, um, logo, like model thing, but God told me to stick to it. And the more I started to pull from it, God was continuing to tell me, there is such a pursuit in the purpose that I have for your life. There's such a pursuit in the way that I'm going to shift and make your life. There's such a pursuit in the direction for your life. So God began to just deal with my spirit about just continue to stick to the pursuit the purpose um, theme. And I just got, you know, so excited about just saying, hey, God still want me to help push y'all to y'all greatest potential in this season. So I'm just beyond blessed and just beyond breath taken back about the things of God but let's get into the scripture as I was driving the other day I remember I had my GPS on and by the way I am a clinical coordinator for DSS so I do home visits and one of the things that oftentimes when I drive these are the things this is when I got really really speaks to me the most um and also I, I included on another video the Lord speaks to me a lot in my bathroom and so like I said it's just you know he always find ways where we Know that we are receptive to hear. So, anywho, get back to Psalms 32 and 8. And it was simply talking about how God was just telling the people that He will lead, He will, in, you know, I will lead and instruct you with my eyes in the way that you should go. And so, I was driving the other day and I realized I think I sped up so fast that I missed the turn. So, I was like, oh my God, you know, I just, I didn't panic, but I was just like, oh man. So, God just happened to to cause me to look up at my GPS and God just I heard the word God said I'm rerouting you and I'm like oh my god like this was so this was so this was so awesome he was like I'm rerouting you go back and tell my children of Israel we are the children of Israel he said go back and let them know even if they get off course that there's such a, a grace in rerouting you back to the place where you need to uh, need to be in order to get to your arrival destinations. Let me tell you something that was so powerful. Like it was so powerful when he was like, "Look, I'm gonna reroute you." And it was so funny. I was like, "Okay." And then when I look back at the GPS, it was like, "Oh, you're like 1.4 miles off." So God said, "I had to. I'm just. I'm rerouting you, but you're not that far off." So I'm encouraging you on today that there's such an uh, uh, anointing and rerouting you in this season. Let the Lord is letting you know you will not miss the mark in this season. You will not have to repeat anything in this season. He said, because I'm going to reroute you. And 
wherever I reroute you, that's where you will start. And you will continue the journey even in that. And so as I was thinking about um, Psalms 32 this morning, it definitely came and reverenced my spirit. You know, God allowed me, I, I'm going to just let y'all know, I ran from the call. I'm, I'm just going to be upfront with y'all. Look, I ran. I literally ran. I ran from the calling and I ran and I thought every time, you know, I, there were different places that I would just like, I'm like, God, I ain't, mm -mm. and the more I ran, the harder my child, the harder my walk became because I ran. So I, let me make you, let me make you laugh this morning. So I left, I had opportunities to take jobs out of the state, you know, Hey, one in a million, you don't oftentimes get that. So I was so fortunate and blessed to have positions that allowed me to maneuver to places that I can experience life and grow and new, meet new people and all these great things. So in the midst of me getting to where I was going, these two different times, well, three different times, God always seen some type of way he would use me while I was in the midst of the place. So God just reminded me the last place I shifted to a year ago before I actually officially became came back to South Carolina as I was traveling back from the place where I was God was letting me know that where I was was not in vain that that was a part of my process that every place that I have gone because I begin to reject you know God's promise I begin to you know fake, fake not in well doing even though you know, even though I knew that a lot of the places God, you know, a lot of places I had went was, you know, God's instruction for me. So I was like, okay. So he let me know. He was just like, faint not and well doing. Because although you still did well in the places that you were. But I'm going to tell you something. God routed me right back to South Carolina. And so he's letting me know. He said, although you were off course a little bit. And I'm talking about, you know, being out of, you know, God's perfect will and being in my in God's permissive will because I was doing what I wanted to do and I just felt like oh I had to be there because everything for me happened and God wanted me to understand even in that like Lord I need you to trust me in the way that I'm about to lead and guide you so my first time coming back to South Carolina was probably like 2016 2017 and I literally like you know just fell like in such a deep depression because I just felt like I was not I was not going to prosper back being here. Like, I was not going to grow. That things were not going to happen like I desire. I knew that where I was before I got here. Like, I had already made a whole life for myself. But that was not God's life for me. So, when I got to the end of 2016, God was like, I want you to trust me like you've never trusted me before. Like, I'm getting ready to, like, lead you back to South Carolina. When he told me to pack up my apartment, y'all, God led me back to South Carolina. At first, I didn't know. Like, I had a, a apartment full of packed up boxes. And just out of the blue, I was laying on the floor bed. It's so funny. And the Lord dropped in my spirit. He said, I want you to go back to South Carolina. And I literally cried because I was not, I did not want to go back home. This, I was like, God, this is not God. And let me tell you, when God has, has purpose for you, it don't matter what you got going on. God is going to. God is going to do things that will cause you to get in route. Like, he's going to reroute you. So, I did everything in my power to try to stay where I was. And God told me that first time, he was like, you know what, daughter, no matter what you do, no matter what you try to do, I'm going to block it. And he said, if you do not obey, I will make I will make it worse. Like, I'm going to make the situation worse than what it is. So, I was like, okay. So, when God said, when God told me that, that was probably the first time when I got to the place where I became very receptive of the will of the Lord. So, let's speed up a couple years later. So, I come back to South Carolina. At first, I was not excited, but then time progressed on. I, it got harder, but God kept me. I cried. I cried like a baby. I don't know why the Lord just let me to tell my testimony. I cried like a baby. So the Lord was just like, do you not trust me enough to know that I will make provision for you and provide for you and lead and guide your every step? So by 2018, I cried so much. The Lord sent me back. He allowed me to go back. He allowed me to go back to the place where I was. I was the most happiest. But I'm going to tell y'all, when I got there, I thought I was like, oh my God, like everything. I was just so happy and excited on the journey. But see, you know, I when I got to where I was going, the more 
I got into the place, the unhappy I got. Like, I didn't like it. And I remember the Lord saying to me, I've given you two years here. Two years. Child, I was looking for a house. I was already getting myself, you know, settled here. Like, I was not coming back. I was just not determined to come back. I was just like, God, if you want me, we're going to fulfill purpose here. Like, I was telling him what to do. But see, God had an ultimate plan. So, I didn't listen. I yada, yada, yada. So, lo and behold, God fixed me real good. Um, just speed up a little bit more. I, um, about 2020, when COVID hit, um, although in between, I went through a lot, y'all. From 2017 to 2020, I mean, I literally went through. I went through almost experiencing homelessness, being back in the place where I was. I, you know, went through a mental breakdown. I, I got depressed. I, you know, I, I mean, I had thoughts of suicide on more than one occasion. Had the opportunity to attempt suicide. Like, it was just a lot. And people didn't understand, but see, the thing is, when God got his hands on you, he ain't even going to allow you to even be put to shame. Like, that's how dope God is. And so, when I moved, when God dealt with me, I packed my apartment up yet again. But this time, I was uh, I was a bit more receptive. So, I, I ended up leaving, what, 2020, and um, I re relocated back to South Carolina beginning of 2021. I packed everything down and finally I came to a place where, you know, God sent a woman of God to give me a word and God said, I already made the provision. You just got to get, you got to move and go where God sent you. And I was crying and she said, God said, it's on you this time whether you be receptive. So God never told me in 2020 that I was, you know, a missile, I was going to lose out, all this other stuff. So I did everything I was told to do. God, it was to the point where God tired me out of my job. Like he had caused me to just be so fatigued with the, with my job. Like I had just lost a total, like a desire of working where I was. Like I was just frustrated all the time. I found myself being depressed with the clients. I mean, like literally because he was preparing me. And so... He just like tired me out. And he kept telling me, he's like, I'm going to close this door and you're not going to be able to turn back this time. So I got to a place where I started humbling myself more in God because I needed to really know what he wanted me to do. So once I got to where I was going, I came back about maybe what, three months into 2021. Um, and when I got here, you know, where I was prior, just I, I call it a rehabilitative phase or experience that God had given me. When I turned back, when I came back, you know, the Lord just told me I had to strip you. I had to strip you down to humble you, to send you to the next place. So I, I became receptive of the assignment. Minus, I, you know, like I said, I was just praying and asking God to show me what he wanted me to do what direction he wanted me to go. So I'm giving you my, my my testimony about how God rerouted me back to South Carolina. This is just the first part of my testimony. So I'm not gonna be so long-winded with it. Anyways, I got here, God just began to put Simon's in my hands. Re reboot your ministry back up. I want you to, um, he gave me time to settle and God began to reroute me. And in the midst of rerouting me, God told me the job, the job to apply for. He told me, uh, where to live like it was just crazy so what i'm telling you even when you think you're off course god is going to reroute you right back and get you to his perfect will and so for a whole year god worked on me with different things just being back in south carolina like i just told him i had to make i made a vow with him i was like okay you know what you got me back here apparently it's something that you want for me to do because I will continue to keep running. So I continue. So at this time, I didn't want to be like, I didn't want to continue to run. Like, I literally didn't want to continue to run. I wanted to, um, you know, really, really see what God had. After all the crying, I realized the hardship I went through. I just didn't want to go through that no more, okay? Like, sister just was tired, okay? I was literally tired of the going through the depression and the whining and the crying. So I finally just told the Lord, whatever you have for me, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to follow it. I'm like, I'm just going to obey. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to do none of that. So I did. God settled me here. Um, I stayed with my, my brother for about two months. And then from there, the Lord began to speak to my spirit to start moving. So I, um, I never unpacked anything while I was at my brother's house. Um, I just did what I needed to do. Um, 
and from there god had just told me find a place i did i stepped on faith got me an apartment um got a job everything had everything happened every everything happened in god's timing but so what i'm saying is when i made up my mind to go the way of god and and follow the way that the GP, god's gps was taking me for for his personal victory um i went and I got to the place where um, I went and got an apartment. I mean, the Lord literally, when I tell you, he blessed me, y'all, because of my obedience. I, I didn't have an issue with nothing. Everything that I thought that I was going to like, God had made a provision. So what I'm saying on today, God will lead and guide your every step. Psalm 91, when it says, he who dwells in the shadows of the secret place shall abide in the shadows of his way. Like, what I'm saying to you is, God has such a protection, even in the in, in the place of rerouting. Even when you allow people to cause you to get off course when 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 you allow others to cause you to get off course god said there's such an anointing of grace a protection that will reroute you right back to where you started like i i'm so excited about what god has allowed me to do in the last and within this last year i birthed my first ministry i birthed my ministry in 2020 I birthed my first conference in 2021. Like, when I tell you, like, the Lord gave me so many, it was just crazy. I birthed my first uh, conference. I was, my goal was to do one this year, but because of so many things going on with the job and, like, a lot of shifting going on, I was still able to, re, you know, redo my ministry here. Like, so it just, it makes it better. So I got to a place where I was trusting God. So what I'm telling you on today, like, what God done for me, even when others were like talking down on me, talking about me, talking about me in the spirit realm. And even when I was moving weight, you know, God still had a protection for my life. Like he still protected me. He still kept me covered even when I was in his permissive will. Like I still was doing my own thing, but God still kept his hands on me. He still kept reassuring me. Like I got purpose for your life. Even when I didn't want to obey, it was like, daughter, do you realize like so many people are connected to this thing? Like it's not even about you. It's so it's like so big. This thing is beyond bigger than you but i need you to understand in the way that i'm getting ready to shift you you gotta be ready for it you gotta you gotta understand that this is an assignment like i called you to this debt like you didn't choose it and even when i used to get mad y'all used to tell him like god i didn't ask for all this and he was like yeah i know but i i, I knew I, but i know you enough to know that you have the ability matter of fact the capability to pursue everything that i have ordained for your life and let me tell y'all, God has, he even kept his promises even in the midst of my disobedient seasons. Like he still kept his promises on me. Even though I had to endure some hardship and I did go through some fight, financial difficulties, y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all just don't understand. Like I did go through a lot of financial hardship. I went through, um, you know, like I said, not being able to get my whole place, my own apartment for an entire year. Like the Lord literally caused me to live with people. Like I was like, I moved three times in one year, y'all. Like literally. And so the Lord said, the more you do, you disobey the harder, the harder it becomes. So I, I made my mind up, and then finally I went the way He went. He told me to go. And I knew I kind of had, I kind of knew that when I was in my apartment that particular season in 2019 i knew that i wasn't going to be in maryland that long like i was literally living in a dc area i knew i knew eventually i was not going to be where i was long like the lord literally just like you know ankle my spirit about the shift so as i come to a close I want y'all to like really be encouraged because there's such a path for your life. Like God has such a grace for you. He has such a promise. He has such an assignment. So I'm just telling y'all, no matter how how, how often y'all get off task, just know that in this season, God said he's getting ready to reroute you. So y'all, I gave y'all my experience of what that was like. Like even when I was traveling, I thought that was just the strangest thing. He was like, I'm rerouting you. And you know, and that means he's like everything that you did not finish, you're going to complete. Mandore, ba 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 sa. Look y'all, today is 72422. The number seven means all things completed. And so God was reminding me, you're going to be able to finish what you started. Like I started things here and forgot about it. So look, 
he reminded me about the very things that I started that I did not finish. He reminded me about the very things that I was in prayer, seeked in prayer about that I did not even fulfill. Like I'm telling y'all, God is going to reroute you in this season. He's going to do some amazing things for your life, but you got to be ready for what he has. I'm just beyond tickled <laughs> about just him putting me back into this blogging. Like I picked it back up. Like I literally did pick it back up because I was in a very discouraged place for a while. And although I took sick, but in that downtime, like that, that almost, I was out really out of work for about a, almost a month. Um, in that downtime, God literally spoke to me about picking it back up. He said, don't lose focus on what I have. Like, I want you to revamp it, revive it. And when you do, stick to it. So he was reminded, he's like, I'm rerouting that ministry right back to your hands. And he told me the other day, he said, daughter, even if it get tough at times or you get discouraged or you, you're getting tired with the way of life, he said, I still want you to keep ministering. I still want you to continue to keep speaking life over those, de over those dead situations that people are currently um, going through he said I still want to use you even on your good on your on your worst day I still want to be able to use you as a vessel I still want to be able to cause you to speak life over somebody else's situation even if yours is is in you know not where it needs to be so I mean I'm telling y'all there's a rerouting for your life in this season like God is getting ready to do some some strategic things concerning y'all the time is winding down but God said you still have time to profane in these things like God want to perfect in marriages and home ownership and business ownership and you know going back to school and getting your degree and all these little great things like he's gonna do it so I want y'all to be encouraged on today because I know the God that sits high and I promise y'all I must have dreamed this conversation with y'all today I know the God that sits high and I know the God that's that looks down low we serve an omnipotent God on omnipresent that means no matter where you are God is always with you God wants to bring such a, a, a beautiful uh, uh, benevolent type thing to your life so be encouraged like when I tell y'all God still kept me although I was going through what I went through in 2018 to 20 2019 it seemed like I started from the bottom then I then I'm here like I was I felt like I was in like hell because all of the stuff I went through and I'm like God I just don't get you why would you want to why would you want to cause me to miss out on all I said but you promised me and God said I know what I said but then you know we never take time to really hear God so I had to go through enough to hear God um in this season I'm, I'm moving out y'all because I feel like I'm parking in my pastor's uh spot and I think that's what I was doing so I know that was the Holy Spirit like okay I'm rerouting you back and even in this little the simple thing like this like I, I was looking and I said okay I am in the pastor's uh spot so even in this um god is getting ready to revout you to such a a promise a promised land like he really do want to for us to really experience the um what that promised land look like the life of milk and honey like you he literally wants us to live life on purpose so i just want y'all to really continue to be determined and push forward in all the things that god has um I'm laughing because this is just such a great example. Like I'm literally, I'm looking at the spot. I'm like, did I park? I park right there where Pastor and our sister Pastor would, you know, normally park. So what I'm saying is like he's getting ready to re reroute you in such a unique and strategic way. So I want y'all to be blessed. I want y'all to be encouraged. And just remember the scripture that I gave today was Psalms 32 and 8. And it was just literally just talking about, you know, the way that God will lead and guide you. And my theme, if I had a topic, it would be like God said, there's a rerouting for your life. Like he's getting ready to reroute you. Um, and no matter if you're a mile long, 1.4 miles, 2.5 miles, just know you're going to make it and you're going to get where God has for you. You're, you're going to arrive. And I felt like the experience I had in the last two weeks, like God been blowing my mind in this month. I literally arrived. Like I'm completing all things that God has put before me. And I just bless God for what he's doing.
and staying and he's rerouting even in my diet y'all like <laughs> he's literally changing my my aspect of how i eat you know and i'm not a big person but i did gain some weight you know so i've been asking god to help me with that so he's giving me the tools of wisdom and the way to eat like he's literally and i'm gonna tell y'all i found so much pleasure in how god was teaching me how to cook um very healthy and i enjoyed it like for two days i was so excited to get home and i'm just being a fat person i was so excited to get home so now i'm like just super stoked so I, like i said again i pray this bless you be encouraged and know next month we hit it hard we god is gonna open doors we literally it's gonna, it's gonna be like god is gonna open the door so just be encouraged um i love y'all know that god love y'all and god loves y'all more but i also love y'all immediately so have a blessed Sunday.